Our latest spotlight on the Red River Gorge is taking us to the Kentucky Reptile Zoo. It's more than just a tourist destination of animal lovers. We're going to talk to LEX 18's Ricky Sayer with a little more about what makes the zoo unique. Take a close look inside the Kentucky Reptile Zoo and you'll come face to face with snakes. Lots of snakes. It is super cool to have more snakes than most places in the country, I'm not gonna lie. We met the staff responsible for taking care of all 1,700 of them. Some just yeah, that's me. popped up. <laughs> I love the job I have because I love snakes. Cattail cares for their every need. I either clean their enclosures or I feed them so that I will have something to clean later. But her role when we first chatted was a little more fun. We were making art together. Ah, Kat was making some art with the Gila monster. Just another day on the job. Kristen Wiley oversees the 32-year-old nonprofit zoo right near the Slade Welcome Center. Uh, probably the thing that most people uh, want to see before they go hiking in the gorge is this fellow right here, which is our copperhead. And he's actually wondering what's happening right now, so he's come up to say hello a little bit. Snakes may be the main draw, but there's also turtles and an alligator they work the train. Wonka, station. Just... No. Well, they at least try. This is one of our favorite animals. This guy is a caiman lizard. It's animals like these you can form a bond with. Hi, Copa. Even when the bond doesn't always go both ways. And we feel a lot of affection for the snakes. I don't know that the snakes return the affection quite the same way. Probably not. As for visitors, many just... Want to know if they happen to see a snake in their backyard, what that is. And importantly, if it's venomous. Well, this is not just like a tourist trap by the side of the road. This is an actual you know, venom production facility. The people who work here are biologists. Stop by at one in the afternoon each day and you'll catch co-director Jim Harrison extracting what? venom. Does it work right Snakes are caught first. Before he carefully places their fangs in a funnel yeah. and rubs their heads. Like milking a cow, but far more dangerous. I was asked by somebody one time after I got bit, did I learn my lesson? I'm like, yeah, I don't get bit. For a guy whose heart has stopped three times from bites, Jim is pretty resilient. There's a reason for that. I extract venom because it saves lives, and most people think of venom, they think of death, I think of life. The venom from this snake is used in tests for lupus. Venom from other snakes can be used for things like cancer research. We send venom all over the world. I've learned a ton. This visitor from Ohio said before coming here, I'm terrified of snakes. I hate them. His views clearly changed. Sharing my love of snakes with other people is what keeps my energy going. She thinks about people like him, wondering what's next for their new found knowledge. Are we having a butterfly effect on them? It's, a, it's kind of fun to think about the possibilities. Ricky joins us now live from Powell County. And ooh, Ricky, who do you have with you there? Ugh. Oh, we lost him. There we are. Ricky, who do you have with you? Hey, Nancy. So <laughs> this, is, this is Pete. He is. Hey, yeah, so though this is Pete. He is one of the snakes at the Kentucky Reptile Zoo. Um, he's just on me here right now. He is not venomous, but most of the snakes at the zoo are, as you heard. Um, but yeah, he's just having a good time here. He's very, very calm. Unlike me, if I were standing there beside you. Ricky, get on back Put, and leave the snake there, okay? <laughs> right.